In Onshape, you can insert parts and assemblies from another document into an assembly in your current document. And that's going to end up linking the documents together. So here I am in a document. It's for a new drone project that I'm working on. And right now I'm on the tab for a motor arm subassembly. And I want to bring in a COTS motor that I have in a different document. I have that other document open in a different tab. Here you can see the motor and Let's go back to the first document so that I can bring that motor in. I will click on the insert button. Here we have the insert dialog box. It's showing a couple of parts from the part studio in my current document. I'm going to click on the tab up at the top to go to other documents. And let me go to owned by me. Let me go to a folder. And here we have that other document. So I will click on it. And then when I go to take a look in here. Well, I've got a battery and I've got these other different components, but I don't see my motor. Where is my motor? Well, this message that I'm getting here is a clue. I'm being told that in that particular document, there have been 55 changes since the last version. And so I could create a version in the other document. Rather than doing it here, let's jump over to the other document. And so on the left hand side of the screen, we can go to our versions in history. So I can see that here we have the main version, or excuse me, the main workspace that was started yesterday, but I want to create a brand new version so that it's got the latest and greatest. I will click on the create version button. And here, here we have the dialog box it gives us a default name of V1 for the version. You can write in a description if you want to, but I'm just going to click the create button. I'm fine with a version called V1. All right. So now let's go back over to my other document. Now we'll click on the insert button and let me go to composite parts over here. And it is showing my older version. Let me go to my version graph and make sure that I'm going to the V1 version. Let me turn on the option for composite parts. Here we have the motor that I want to insert. I will click on it in order to select it. And there we can see a preview of it in the main window. I'm happy with that. Let me hit the check mark in order to place it. And so now I have this new component located in my assembly. If you take a look at it in the tree, we can see that we have a symbol next to the component in the instance list, indicating that this is a version part from the other document. So there it tells us that we have that link to the other document. So that's how you can link components from one document to another document and insert them into other documents.